Hello, my name is Joe Foy, and today I'm standing in the beautiful Teapot Valley, which is a drainage that runs into the Nahatlach River. It's all part and parcel of the Inakapnak tribal territory. And what makes it super rare is it's an intact valley in the lower mainland. There aren't many of those outside of parks and protected areas. Today I'm in the Teapot Valley, sort of surveying the big trees and some of the beautiful, beautiful things that are here. Well, it's a new day. In fact, it's day four and we are camped at the Forks, at the junction between the two tri main tributary valleys of Teapot Creek. And it's a beautiful little campsite here. Went for a great swim yesterday afternoon. We're kind of, one of the great things about these bug bivvies or bivy camping in general, is you don't need a very big flat area to get a very comfortable camp. We have blow up mattresses, blow up pillow, so sleep pretty good. There's our bear stash. I'm gonna head across the river down into the flats. I wanna see what kind of forest is in there. And so I'm very interested in, in doing that. So that's my day, wandering through the old forest, taking photos, and it's gonna be a great day. Weather forecast is another Perfect day, a little cooler, which is just great. Well, I've crossed the Teapot Creek and I'm in the forest. It's a beautiful, flat, rolling terrain. And it really reminds me of a coastal forest. Big, beautiful, old growth trees here. I'm gonna to try to document some of them. So we're gonna have a look at some of these trees in here today, starting with a beautiful, big Douglas fir tree. Gorgeous old cedars over there. But I see as I wander along, I'm likely to get into some pretty interesting groves. So this is how I'm gonna spend my afternoon in this area. And I'm also gonna look for that open space that I saw two years ago when I was in here and flew the drone. What a delightful afternoon. What a delightful way to spend the afternoon. So there's the Douglas fir I want to. I've got GPS that first location. It's just a beautiful old tree. Look at that gnarly bark. <laughs> there it goes, way up there to its canopy. Whoa. Beautiful way to start the day, finding this tree. So I will get this tree marked on the GPS. I love how these big old trees, like this dug fir behind me, just power out of the of the forest here and tower over everything. It's just an awesome living things to be around. An often awesome living ecosystem. Same thing with the big red cedar over there and the snags. Wow, what an amazing, cool, cool place. <laughs> well, let's see what else we can go find. You hear that little creek, little stream? That's coming down from Snowbelt up above in the mountains. And it winds through this little forest. I just ran into it just about the time I was starting to get thirsty. <laughs> so I filled up my water bottle once, but I'm just gonna fill it up a second time. So I'm tanked up when I head back out into the forest. But what a wonderful, resource for me but also for the trees for all the living things this little this little snowmelt creek that's still going in august that's pretty cool oh yeah all tanked up and good to go yeah, fresh water, straight from the hills. Just wandered into this pretty cedar grove here. Mossy, beautiful cedar trees, but multiple cedar trees, like, whoa. Great walk here, got a coastal feel to it. Moss pads on the tree branches, big snags. It's a nice old forest. 
Pretty easy going in here. Flat, mossy. Whoa. There's a gnarly one. I hear the river just over there. Teapot Creek. Now I'm in this wetter kind of flower metal area. Really pretty, but powering out of this are these old cedar trees. Now there's red cedar and yellow cedar in here. That might be yellow cedar. Certainly the little guys are yellow cedar. So yellow cedar is the oldest lived tree in BC. We have a slice of a one that had been logged that's over 1800 years old at our office. So this looks like a yellow cedar grove in here. Oh, these are big. My gosh, I think we've got a mix of yellow and red. Whatever they are, they're old. <laughs> and beautiful. Look at that biggie over there. Gee whiz, there's some big ones in here. Very nice. The forest is opening up here. I think it's because it gets lots of water. And so you get kind of a flower meadow going on with these ancient trees powering up. I'm thinking that this has been protected from fires for many centuries. Wow. <laughs> this is where the old timers live here in the Teapot Valley. Look at that, eh? Whoa. I think this must be coming up to the opening I saw from an earlier drone flight. Wow. Whoa. Real old timers. Wow, the scent's coming out of this meadow. It smells, wow, great. <laughs> Lots of dragonflies here. can really see this is the whole watering system for this part of the valley that keeps these ancient cedars safe and also provides the water and nutrients for a lot of this whole forest. Just kind of a big water regulation system here. Now, just above the meadow on this ridge, I see some trees sticking up and I wonder if we got some big dug firs over there. I also noticed some black belly clouds over there. But we're not scheduled for rain. We get a little forecast off our GPS communication system. So I think I'm going to be okay. A welcome opening <laughs> with all these different plants and scents and just a whole different structure to the place. And of course, these ancient cedars that stand around it and are sustained by it. Wow. The forests that grow sort of on the edge of this. What a delightful stroll. It's a late afternoon now. At some point I'm going to have to turn around and head back. Wow, across the river. It's all, look at that. It's all big dug fur. Oof. Sticking up there. Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's coming up to five. I'm just going to Wander back in the meadow, map some things, the extent of it. Check out some of the little ponds that are here. And make my way back to our camp. Yeah, I need to hoof it back to camp. <laughs> you know, over here where our camp is, it looks beautiful. But over here, the sky is getting darker. Now, the good news is the wind is coming from the beautiful side, so that is good news. It doesn't appear to be blowing the dark clouds, and I hear the faint sound of thunder in the distance, in that distance. Nevertheless, it is getting close to rendezvous time back at the camp, so that's where I'm bound for. All along Teapot, at least in this part of Teapot, up by the forks are these 
amazing swimming holes. At least right now in August, they're amazing swimming holes. Just really refreshing and unbelievably beautiful. <laughs> wow. Just ran into another one. And just up here, beside this beautiful place, is a younger Douglas firs. But got a ways to go to reach giant status. Yep, there's young Doug there. Just going in the forest. Big old rock over there. Other big Dougie over there. I took pictures of that one. I just keep bumping into them as I try to head my way home. And then, of course, the beautiful swimming hole down in here. But I gotta stop talking because those black clouds look like they're getting closer. Time to head home. It's a new day and it is looking pretty fresh and bright. Beautiful looking day. Now yesterday we had those thunder clouds moving in and in fact by the evening that thunder started to come our way. The sky looks pretty nice right now but the thunder clouds overtook us last night and so Devin set up the tent and we pulled our bug bivvies in. I don't know somewhere around nine o'clock last night the rain started but we were fine in our tent this tent has no floor in it and also no mosquito net so it's quite light but perfectly made for this type of camping easy to set up an uneven terrain or easier and then we just slide our bug bivvies inside the tent so the bug bivy gives us a protection against mosquitoes and flies and the tent gives us a protection against the raining the rain so that worked out pretty good for us this morning everything's fresh there's a bit of moisture left on the on the huckleberry and blueberry bushes hmm look at that yeah hmm don't let that go to waste that's good there's our tent we're quite close to the the creek here with all its swimming pools up here is we know from our last trip up here is a ridge old with all big old Douglas fir trees. Devin was up there yesterday and reports what looks to be new flagging tape up there. So that's quite a concern that there's been some additional flagging by the logging company up there. I want to get up there and film that and try to understand that a little bit better. That's pretty easy. Photography right in close to the camp. Just getting ready to strap on my boots and actually head up to those firs. There's our camp. What a glorious little tent spot you know anywhere I sit to do anything look at this I have a kind of a snack thing going on here oh man so many oh berries not everywhere but in this little place whoa so many berries so just gonna get my stuff together. I'm gonna cross the creek and head up into the big firs. Well, I'm scrambling up what we call the Douglas Fir Ridge. We found this last time, two years ago, when we were in Teapot Valley. And it's just a marvelous forest with these Douglas fir trees. There's one right there. <laughs> There's one there. Oh, look at the size. Maybe. This has a good vibe. I think maybe I'll have lunch here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful old forest here. It's full of Douglas fir trees. Oh, check out that beautiful mossy forest floor. And just over there is a nice looking Douglas fir. That. It is a mighty fine look at that Whoa. That is an old timer. Down in the little draw there is but wet ground and looks like some red red cedar taking advantage of that. And over here, it's kind of fun. You don't often get to see the tops of these spiky cedar trees, but here one's keeled over, so you really gotta you can see the big forked or spires of this thing. Love these sapsucker holes. I think that's what they are, where sapsuckers have 
packed in looking for food. They're really healed over in this cedar though. Look at that mossy forest I'm gonna walk into now. Ooh, still quite cedary here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see a big one over there. There it is. Let's go over and say hi. <laughs> Man, that one's a beaut. Wow. That's a big old tree. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All those little seedlings on the base of the tree. It's pretty. I will try to take a photo. It's just so pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous old tree. Well, sun's getting a bit low. I find myself in a grove of <laughs> giant Douglas fir trees. They're everywhere I look at this point. <laughs> but, oh, there's, there's that other one I was looking at before. Oh, there's, there's one right there. I mean, there's one here and there's one there. But the sun is getting low, so I'm going to head on back to camp, which, you know, isn't that far away. And we'll just wander on down the ridge one last time. Make sure I got all my stuff. And we'll see Devin back at camp. <laughs>